All right. Hi, I'm Boudreaux here. Y'all, thanks for coming. Um, yeah. Um, points of reference. I have a very brief statement. I've been talking about the balance thing is, you know, and it, 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 it's an ongoing process, uh, art making. I think everything I make, I think that everything everybody makes is somewhat of a self-portrait. Mm -hmm. And I think that uh, I continue to deal with the same issues, balance, everything in my life is connected. One of my favorite expressions is, everything's connected, nothing is separate, you better rock hard while you can. So uh, here I am, rocking hard. So these uh, pieces, the latest uh, three-dimensional body, actually made last year. I have been trying to balance my full-time teaching in a talent program, uh, Lafayette Parish, with making art full-time and having my garden. I don't have children, except for all the many children I teach, uh, which I find really challenging. And uh, it's been my latest challenge since I've been teaching, but uh, finding those blocks of time, I still find them. And uh, this body I refer to as points of reference uh, for many reasons, um, because of everything being connected. Uh, I don't like to spend a lot of money on materials. I like being resourceful. It's something I like to do. It's something I teach. And these pieces were in part, uh, if you remember my last exhibit here, the garment body of work uh, with the garments that had centers that were very similar. Well, these were the original centers, some of them. I had made lots of these forms and uh, I, when I had made that body of work, and I just couldn't stand the thickness of them. Loved the form, didn't like them in that context. So I thought, oh, I'll just scrap them and throw them away. I said, I can't do it. I just couldn't do it. This is hours and hours of sewing. These are fabric. They're actually soft sculpture. So they are, you can touch gently if your hands are clean. Um, no batting around, no tether ball. We had somebody here at the opening last week that was having a heyday with these, just like, and it's like, whoa, they're stable, but you know. <laughs> but they're soft, and they're made with Dupioni silk, and I sew, they're machine sewn. I turn them inside out very meticulously so I don't rip the, the points. And then after the form was made, then it's, it's basically a three-dimensional canvas where I shrink the silk with hot water, and then I start layering. Uh, acrylic medium, paint, and then glazes on top of that. They didn't look like this. They didn't have the constrained centers. This was influenced by one of my yard garden experiences. The devil's dipsticks were these, are these incredible fungi we get in our yard that are extremely phallic and bizarre. They're about this tall, kind of a uh, red-orange with a yellow green slimy sticky thing that attracts the flies and I'm like oh my gosh what has landed in our yard we always get the weirdest fungi and I love to garden and as usual the garden the cooking all of those things from nature that inspire my work I often think why am I wasting time making art I'll just go outside but I make the art I love making the art the organic nature of the work is uh, an homage to the earth, a tribute to the earth. Uh, the meticulous things I do, these are all, everything from here over, all of these are wrapped with embroidery floss, the wire after I make it, hours and hours and hours, and yeah, I am a little OCD. But I'm not crazy, I always say I'm OCDC, not crazy, but, uh, <coughs> I, I think about these things. I'm not a, I'm a very spiritual person, and this is my church, okay? This is, this is my Sunday morning every day or every minute I have to spare. Um, so, the insides are old lace, paints that I've had forever. Um, I like to thrift. Uh, there's a couple of organizations in Lafayette that I like to support uh, because they su <coughs> the thrift stores 
give the money, use the money for uh, challenged kids. So I, I, I do my rounds and I'm always waiting for the old lady. Uh, so in kits that get brought to the thrift stores and if you make your rounds you can really hit get the jackpots and keeps my overhead low. Uh, I don't make art to live off of it and that's why I teach but I also love teaching so uh, it, for many reasons I don't I mean I could I can afford to buy any kind of material I want but to me part of the challenge is to the, the being resourceful and repurposing, reusing, which kind of leads to the two-dimensional pieces. Just like Ross was saying and, uh, about the painting and uh, printmaking, I'm kind of getting tired of making 3D work, and it's just the fact of life. And I've been dying to work with fabric in a different realm. And uh, I asked the lady who wrote the write-up not just to call them fabric collages, because collage is truly the French word that means to paste or to glue. So they're really constructions because uh, there's, there's a little teeny beady bit of wet work sealing the edge of these pieces so they wouldn't ravel. But every, all, these are all stitched by hand and layered. Um, probably took me a lot longer to compose them than to construct them because it's, I was really trying to push and pull with the layers of netting or what we call in the fabric world tool. I have made up my own rules. They're not traditional quilts. They are just constructions. I, I didn't look and say, oh, how am I supposed to do that? Or how am I supposed to do this? Um, I just did them. It, it's got, they have a, a substructure underneath the, bl the black cotton. Uh, there's some teeny beads in there. Some of those are vintage Mardi Gras beads. Some of the fabrics are uh, from my childhood. This is, you know, vintage fabrics. Um, the rest of the stuff is garage sale, thrift store, Goodwill, found stuff. Um, the grid work, I've been teaching balance a lot. <laughs> a lot of different kinds of balance and a couple of my students, I'm teaching uh, Photoshop and I've decided to use a grid work project that uh, actually Kelly Mueller and I uh, co-authored when I was teaching in New Orleans. And uh, so I was like, oh, I'm just dying to do a grid piece. And so this was a, a, a place to do that. There is no meaning. <coughs> it's per pure design. And uh, you know, I'm really not trying to say anything specific with these pieces. They're just what they are. I feel like they're designy. And, but I, I really had a good time. And that's what counts for me. I had a really good time making those pieces. And I think I'm going to be making more of the 2D work in this fashion. Uh, no wet, just dry. Because it's a challenge to, because I've made collage a lot over the years with uh, mixed media and wet media. To, to work just with textiles, fibers is a challenge and a fun one. So, uh, so that's what I'm doing. I can't remember a sculpture of yours that hasn't hung from the ceiling. And I'm wondering, have you made pedestal pieces or pieces that stand? What is it about the hanging that's important? <clears throat> Goes way back. When I was, <laughs> you'll appreciate that. Okay. Ross and I used to run this, this lovely organization years ago. Well, we, worked, we were co-conspirators. And uh, those things called pedestals and walls and platforms we're always a real pain. And when I was in graduate school, I said, in, in part conceptually and part pragmatic, I did not want to have to depend on some ugly pedestal or some bad platform or a shelf or what have you. So pra pragmatically, it was just like, I'm just going to hang them. Now, it, it, I got over my height, fear of heights really fast and being on tall ladders, but uh, the, the other thing about suspending the work, it exposes the pieces to the human viewer. It is a totally different experience to walk around something that's suspended than something that's on a pedestal. So that, I liked the freedom and I liked the kinetic activity and the ability to create an environment. Um, these, none of these are really hanging low, but other other works 
that lend themselves. It's fun to hang them really low and watch the little kids want to sit in them and such. Uh, there's always that that uh, that excitement. <laughs> little old ladies and small children <laughs> abusing the work. <laughs> Y'all should have been here uh, Wednesday <laughs> night. <laughs> anyway, uh, so that's that's what the suspended the suspension has to do with. And I like creating the environment. Do you see yourself moving away from the three D work to the two D or? Uh, I don't know. Okay. I think I think the three Ds. But actually, I'm thinking about maybe doing a little different things with the the two dimensional. I mean, the three dimensional stuff. I might hang them on the wall one day. And that's how they started. Uh, when I was way back in the mid-90s, the collage fabric on the, the wet collage started coming off the two-dimensional surface. And then it was what we call, what I call two and a half relief, or two and a half work, two and a half dimensional work relief. And then it jumped off the wall and was suspended. Well, I might climb back on the wall. Or maybe come meet it you know, suspended and on the wall. I, you know, you can, I'm getting, you get tired of doing the same things. I get tired of doing the same things. And even though, if you look at my three-dimensional work, the bodies are very different, but they're similar. As they're connected. Was this the first place for you to hang these pieces? Um, I had I already thought that I wanted this, this space because I knew I had the verticals, uh, the entire time I was making these pieces, they were all made in the horizontal. And I got here and I said, there's no way I'm hanging these horizontally. So, a good design will work in any orientation. So I flipped those babies and I was ready because I put the hangers on all four corners so I could make those decisions. And I've done the same thing with my three-dimensional work. Oh, I'm going to, well, for instance, the last time I exhibited these, they were, these were facing up. I, you, you live with something, you know, it's in the studio, and you make changes. And I'm, I am so open to change, like, I, I don't think that it has to always be like I intended it to be. And I'm quite happy I, I flip these over. I'm much happier. It's kind of more like, instead of... <laughs> I like touching, too, but I like playing with them. Um, and it's like photography, you can't do not touch. You ever thought about doing work where you can, the viewer can go and toy around? With, um, or is it just... No, I mean, I really don't mind people touching with clean hands, but it's a... Um, where do you have, where does that line fall? I, mean, I can't expect Jason or Travis or Jenny to walk around and say, well, if your hands are clean, Anne says you can touch, you know. But if I'm here, I love to like, like break yeah. up. Come on, can you come touch. touch? Yeah, yeah. And it is, it's, an, it's always an issue. Well, I mean, with any kind of three-dimensional work or even two-dimensional work on, in some instances. But, uh, you know, I love the fact that they cry for touching. I mean, I thank you, Randy. That was such a nice compliment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you know, I don't want a bad one. No, thank you. <laughs> but you know, even this elderly woman. But even that, I was like, wow. What was it that made her want to act like those were tether balls? Maybe that's what she was reading or something. But she, I mean, they were like, whoa, whoa. It was fun. It for about two seconds, and then I'm like, okay, <laughs> she's going to bust the string or bend the wire, but they're pretty stable. It was wonderful. <laughs> you ever think about giving these more of a sense of motion, like fans or something like that? No. That's why I don't make video art. <laughs> no. I, I mean, that is like a whole, like, sometimes depending on what the shapes are like and where the air flow, but... I, the last thing I want to do is think about air, like having an air generator. It's just so not, you know, uh, sometimes, I mean, they will spin depending where they are, but mm, no. Okay, if you want to come up and squeeze and feel, just <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.